Hey there, everybody. P. Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to pick number three of my favorite 31 albums of 1974 as we celebrate albums that are 50 years old in 2024. That's right. Looking back on 1974 albums that are celebrating their 50th anniversaries, 50th birthdays, however you look at it. We're picking our favorite 31 albums from 1974. No order here, just each day a new pick from my top 31. Today, uh, we're going to look at an album that was released on September 6th, 1974. It was the fourth studio album by this British band, recorded at Edmonton Sundown Studios, Olympic Studios in London, England, produced by Roy Thomas Baker and the band for United Artists, Liberty and Parlophone Records, uh, actually United Artist and Liberty, the reissue was on Parlophone, talking about the Hall of the Mountain Grill from Hawkwind, yes indeedy, Space Rock Legends, one of my favorite albums from this band to me, it's a top three album from Hawkwind, some days it's my number one studio album, right? Some days it's Warrior on the Edge of Time. Yeah, you, I mean, any of their first, like, six albums are just absolutely amazing. One of those bands that just kind of busted out of the gate and just doing something completely new and cool and different. And uh, these albums, I think, have held up really, really well, in my opinion. So who's in the band? Of course, Dave Brock, founding member, still leading the charge of Hawkwind all these years later. Dave has appeared on, like, every single Hawkwind album that's ever come out. Lead guitar, 12-string guitar, rhythm guitar, synthesizers, organ, harmonica, vocals, Nick Turner, saxophone, oboe, flute, vocals, Lemmy, Ian Kilmeister on bass, vocals, and some guitar. Of course, soon to be going off into Motorhead just a few short years after this. Simon House on synthesizer, Mellotron, and violin. Simon King, drums, percussion, and Del Detmar on keyboard, synthesizers, and kalimba. What do we got on this album, you ask? Well, Pete's going to tell you here. Some absolute... Hawkwind space rock classics on here. You know, the Kings of Psychedelia. You got the Psychedelic Warlords, Disappear and Smoke. Oh, what a great song that is. I love the, the pulsating nature of this album. And it's weird. It's trippy. It's heavy in spots. It's just a, a very, very cool album. Wind of Change is up next. Another really, really good track. You got D Rider and Web Weaver all make up side one. A great side, right? But then you go over on to side two. You better believe it. Another great song. Kicking off side two. Amazing. Title track, Hole in the Mountain Grill. Lost Johnny. It's a, it's a Lemmy song right there. That's, that's kind of something you'd expect from Motorhead later on. Goat Willow. And then, of course, uh, you've got uh, the bonus track from the session. You've got Paradox, which is a killer song. Killer song. One of my favorites, actually, from these sessions. So good. Man, it's just such a great album. Uh, love all the trippy synthesizers and the Mellotron and the big riffing and all that stuff. Uh, just such a very, very cool album. And I always love the album cover. Look at that. How cool is that? How cool is that as well? Ah, uh, Hawkwind, what a great band. So many albums. So many very cool albums. Let's take a look at charting information. Shall we? Australia, this made it to number 92. Just broke the top 100. In the UK, this made it to number 16, and here on the U.S. Billboard charts, number 110, right? The only certification for this album was in the UK. This made it to silver, 60,000 units sold, one of their bigger sellers, actually. So, uh, any, I don't believe there's any singles from this album. We'll take a double look. No, no singles released here, but a really, really cool Hawkwind album, nonetheless. And uh, it's one of my favorites from 1974. So uh, let us know what you think of Hall of the Mountain Grill down below in the comments section. But more importantly, what is your pick today? Pick number three. Like I said, if you guys are ranking yours, that's fine. I'm just kind of each day, different pick. There's no real order here. You all know me. You know what my absolute favorites are. I'll tell you when we get to them, right? I'll be like, yeah, this is one of my top favorites, right? But I didn't rank because it's too hard to rank these. There are all, there's so many classic albums here. 1974 is just as hard as 1973, the year and the year before that, 1972. It's tough doing these things, right? But, uh, you know, just, just picking out the 31 out of like 
100 great albums from that year is tough enough, but trying to rank them is almost impossible. So I'm just like, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Hard enough ranking my favorite albums of 2023 and all the other stuff we've done in recent months. So this at least, you know, I, I make it just picking out the 31 is difficult enough, and then I just each day you get another one. So today is Hawkwind. This is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, all together, all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and click on that notification bell so you get alert of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also, down below, we got the links to our Ko-Fi page, our channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. Thank you in advance for all your support there. It's always greatly appreciated, and we'll see you tomorrow for pick number four. Till then, I am P. Pardo. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, don't touch that dial. New reviews coming at you today. Should have a few for you, so uh, enjoy them. And uh, check out some new music, and we'll see you tomorrow morning for another one. Take care. I'm Pete Pardo. Bye-bye.